Uh, we're going to find uh, the center. So uh, we're going to be start with the heart first, start with the heart, and after that we're going to go right into find the center, and we do the rest of the inner smile and delete in the, uh, this afternoon. Okay. Um, find your center is very simple. Why? Because that is where you born. Okay. The first cell, one cell stick on the placenta. And it grow from that cells, from the placenta growing bigger, 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 become a human. So the dad believe that that is your center. The first cell that you started, and it stick in the stick in the wall, and it grow to the placenta, and it behind your navel, in front of the kidney, maybe up and down a little bit. That's all. And how are you gonna fight? So simple, because it's your center. You should fight because there's no problem. Because it's your center. You start from the beginning, you grow from there, and there's your center. So we call it the Tan Tien. So you, when you stick your finger, so let's try here. You stick your finger, and you just smiling back, smiling down, and you have to learn a little bit, turn your senses inwardly. Okay? By looking inside, by smelling inside, by, by hearing, in, by listening inside, by feeling inside. And that's it. It's a great, great practice you can have in your life. Anytime you don't want to, anytime you don't have anything to do, turn yourself inwardly. Okay? And fire your center. And what's good about fire your center, you know? Because you start from there. The original force enter there. The primordial force enter there. And all the forces grow from there. So when you are concentrated in that center, you started to take in more primordial force. You started to increasing your original force. Is that bad? Is that good or bad? You started to put money in your bank. Is that good or bad? Huh? Good, that right? So remember that. Whenever you have time to focus on your center, you started to put money in your bank. And in the Christian, what you call now? Adding oil into your lamp. Adding more oil into your lamp. So what, you, what is the good, what is, what use, what happened to the lamp when they have no oil? You know, use that, right? You see the point there? I tell you but you, uh, I have so many people that practice, it's only not like a gimmick, okay? Weight loss or anything, it's not like a gimmick. Oh, you take this, take this, take this pill and this diet and you get weight loss. No. But this is need to practice it, okay? You need to practice it. You're really practicing it, do abdominal breathing and roll the stomach and collect the energy. Try it out. Try it out. You really, you, not, you can control your weight. You really can control your weight. Because you're not going to, uh, your metab- and we have to check the thyroid. I mean the aura. It's too bad that we only take 10 people. It's a lot of people that when they check the thyroid, not right, okay, you're going to get big, heavy. Because it's not burning your fat. Thyroid have to do right, and the breathing have to do right, the breathing technique. Because you have to, you're breathing in, you have to mix the thyroid, you have to meet your original force with the thyroid, and you meet with the primordial force, and you bring the force in, and it burn. We call fuse injections, right? You, you know the fuse injection? Before that, when you have the, before that, the car is very not efficiency. So the oil in, the gas in, boom, and burn. And it don't mix very properly yet. So later on, they discover that if we take the oil in and the gas in and bend them very well and go right into the chamber and boom, you save a lot of gas. So we call fuel injection. Okay, now we have the same thing in the thyroid and parathyroid. 
this is a whole very long topic to talk because I have to get you how to do it right, how to breathe it right, how to mix the air that you breathe with the thyroid and parathyroid. You have to mix them before you actually going down. That's why God built the thyroid in the, in the throat. Every time, everything has to pass through. And every time you have to activate the thyroid. If you don't activate them, they don't work. <laughs> okay? So, so let's do, let's start with abdominal breathing. Okay? Uh, let, let's stand up for a moment. Let's start with abdominal breathing. We're going to do the normal breathing first. Normal breathing. So very simple. Okay? You inhale and exhale. Okay? Let me see your breathing muscle. Strong. Have to be strong. This is the hose, this is your vacuum machine, okay? And if some of you still breathe too much on your nose, you have to be strong here first. If you, if you only <laughs> here, you have a very tiny little pump, <laughs> yeah, tiny little vacuum machine, and that is where they use for vacuuming the computer, you know? Very small one, <laughs> you need a big vacuum machine, okay? I mean, here you're stronger. Your, your vacuum machine more stronger. If you feel dizzy, stop for a moment. Okay, otherwise you feel dizzy, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, very important part: this abdominal. We have normal breathing, we have reverse breathing, and we have the upper abdominal breathing, middle abdominal breathing, and lower abdominal breathing. And tomorrow we will learn the urogenital diaphragm and the pubic diaphragm breathing. So you have many diaphragm. We, uh, we don't use the diaphragm very properly. Okay, we don't use the diaphragm properly. And, um, and that is how what we, 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 we don't breathe right. So that's why we get sick. If you're breathing right, and you learn how to breathe internally, and you learn how to breathe the primordial force, you get it right. You get it more better. Breathing is the breath of life. And this is your breathing muscle. If you don't train them, no way. Okay? No way. If you breathe like this, you, you become a very tiny little pump, you know, little vacuum machine, you know. It's, you cannot do much anything. Okay? So let's try. Okay? If you feel dizzy, rest for a moment <laughs> and get your breath and just start over again. Okay? Now, uh, you, you watch me. You, you have to be strong from here. Because this one, this is the hose, and this is the vacuum machine, okay? You turn on the, to turn on a vacuum machine, a strong one, whoo, you know? And it, the, the hose has, you know, the hose. So the hose, and this is your vacuum machine. You need to get it big and strong and practice every day. You practice every day, you have no dummy. Your dummy getting smaller, and you're getting healthier. Okay. Again, you need to practice. <laughs> okay. You need to do. No? You, know, you cannot do lesser than, than three or four times every time, at least 36 times. You cannot do lesser than that. It's so quick. Anytime you go sitting down, oh, my God, the guy I'm, should be here. No, not here yet. So you do your breathing. <laughs> it's any time. It doesn't mean, my God, in the morning I have no one hour free time. And nowadays, where are you going to get one hour free time in the morning? Focus, relax. And some of you still too much on the chest. You need to put your attention on your abdominal. And this is your breathing, your breath of life, the muscle of breath of life. Okay? So. So it's good to start with nine. Count nine, rest, 
Okay? And we start over again. So this time, I want you to, when you exhale, you feel you are rightly contracting your perineum anus. When you feel a little bit contracting, you activate the urogenital diaphragm and the pubic diaphragm. And this diaphragm affecting the diaphragm in the brain. The brain has a diaphragm, okay? And uh, it's moving, okay? It mo you feel it. When you do it right, the brain actually are moving, okay? The inside brain are moving, and you have the best exercise in your brain. The brain in, inside the skull, you don't do it right, you not exercise them. So what we do, we drain them out, just so much, so much, so much, and one day is no more. Okay? You exhale, you exhale, and you lightly contract your, very gentle contract your, for lady, lower vagina and anus. Very gentle, don't use too much. When you really contract, very gentle contract, you also feel something are moving in your brain. It's got they are connecting together. All the whole body are connecting, especially the sexual organ. You know? <laughs> if you activate the sexual organ, any part of your body will activate also. Okay? So, you know. Let's sit down, touch your navel. I want you to really relax. Turn your eyes inwardly. Turn your eyes, turn your mind inwardly. Turn your heart in your inwardly. And you just think behind the navel, in front of the kidney, back and forth the area, you have a center. A center is there, always there. And all you have to do is fix your mind, put your eye, put your mind on it, and put your heart on it. Looking into the center, smelling into the center, smiling to the center, tasting in the center, and feel your center. So just inhale, smiling, find your center, find your center. <coughs> when, you feel, when you started to find your center, and you started to feel warm, and that is right. You started to feel warm, and the more you concentrate, the more you put your mind, eye, heart, power on it, the more you feel it warmer and warmer. Warmer and warmer. Okay? You started to feel it's warmer and warmer. Inhale. Smile. And exhale. Now exhale to your center. Inhale. Exhale down to your center. Inhale, very relaxed, very smiling, find your center. And feel nice and warm. Just keep on breathing. And feel your center have nose and mouth are breathing inside you. When you get your center and feel your breathing, we call the embryonic breathing. You feel something inside you are breathing. Your center are breathing. Embryonic breathing. Inhale. Smile to your center. And feel you connecting with the force around you, primordial force.
smile to the primordial force and feel you breathe in the force and it gathering and condensing into your center. Smile, breathing in. Power, intention, just intention to your center. Warm and breathing inside you. Feel the chi build up and getting warmer and warmer now. Some of you maybe feel the energy started to go to wherever you have pain or sickness. <coughs> and it can cause more pain because it's digging and fighting for you. But you don't worry about that. Whatever the pain go, don't worry about that. Put your mind 95% in your center breathing. Inhale. Just, just let the pain go. Whatever they are, let, don't worry about it. Just fix on your center and getting more chi. And more chi will go and solve your problem. If you put your mind in the pain part, it stops healing. And the energy stops also. Some of you may feel the energy started to rise up to your brain. But you still put 95% in your center, always 95% in your center. And feel your energy in the brain are spinning. You're spinning the energy in your brain. Gathering more chi. And it started to put down to your nose and nostril. And feel your sinus open and you breathe very well. If you stick your tongue up, if you feel your palate being, put, being charged with a lot of chi, and you move your tongue to find back and forth or make a circle on a palate to find a connection point, Find your center, the center of your original force, the center of the healing power.
and rest.